Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Friends, in the previous exercise, we have learned how to analyze a simple beam in Midas 10. Now, in exercise number 2, we will learn how to design that beam. The problem statement is Design a simply supported RC beam as a singly reinforced beam having a size of 300 by 650 mm and a span length of 5 meter. All the loadings and material properties have been discussed in the previous video. It is specified here that use only 12 mm dia bars as main reinforcement and 10 mm dia bars as shear reinforcement. So let's go to the software screen. So let's begin. Uh, as you can see that uh, we have uh, given this beam the supports but it is not shown here. So just go to this button display option and go to the boundary tab and uh, just click on the support and apply OK. So you can see the supports like this. Now to design this, uh, first you have to set some parameters for this particular uh, beam. Uh, just go to the design tab and general design parameters and go into the definition of frame. As it is only a beam, so it is no matter whatever is the unbraced or braced. So just select it braced and design type. It is the main thing we have modeled this beam for xz plane so just select it as xz and click on ok now go to the so in the in this particular section it is for the concrete design we can select the code as we want to be used for design this beam so let's select this aci 318 m14 and just go to this particular button and go to the design code as we have selected from there so it is shown up here just check the box check beam deflection to incorporate the beam deflection check into the design calculations and click on ok now go to the same button and strength reduction factors you can see for this particular code these are the uh, reduction factors which is to be used by the software and uh, yes we have to modify the concrete properties so just go to this button and just uh, click in the grade c 4000 this is the code we have selected before for concrete and just grade now it's time to select the uh, rebar material as ASTM RC main main rebar grade of 60 and sub bars grade also 60 and click on modify so it will be updated here and then close it now go to the limiting minimum section size and check that whether this beam is being checked or not uh, by this option the software will automatically check the minimum size required by the code for the beam if it is uh, being defined or not okay then go to the design criteria for rebar in this dialog box there are four uh, options for beam design for column design for brace and for shear wall design so for the time being we are only designing the beam so just uh, click on this button under the beam design rebar and uh, you can see p5 p6 p7 up to p40 these are only the options which is shown so it's p5 this number shows the uh, diameter of the bar in mm so we'll select p12 means 12 mm dia bar we are using a stirrup of 10 mm side bars also for 10 mm if required by the software it is automatically being checked by the software uh, arrangement of these struts is either three leg four leg and up to so on uh, this particular text boxes are for the cover dt means the top cover and db means the bottom cover so 
for we are using the 40 mm for top and bottom bolt right this particular check is for the doubly rebar doubly rebar means it is it is the option for which we can tell the software either it is to be designed as a doubly reinforced beam or not so uncheck for this time we are, because we are only doing the singly reinforced beam design consider the spacing limit for main rebars okay check it spliced we are not using for the time being all right and just ignore it all the other as we are only dealing with the beam for now and click on ok and then we will select the serviceability parameters so it here are the options so uh, deflection controls it is the deflection limit which is to be selected by us that whether we'll have to check this beam for l by 480 deflection limit or l by 360 or 240 or 180 or you can put any value here so for the timing we'll use the l for l by 240 and just click on this particular beam and apply you can also see there is the option for long term deflection control we can uh, give the live load reduction factor here and time dependent factor for whatever the time listed here and psi value is being uh, automatically taken by the software corresponding to the time which is selected all right and limits these limits as well so just uh, apply this particular uh, and apply okay now just uh, click on the performed batch design and just click on analysis and concrete beam design check it and then make sure that uh, you have uh, defined the load combinations otherwise this will not design the beam or any member okay so uh, it is uh, the result showing this is known as the member section span member means member is zero section number is one and span length is five meter unit is claimed in meter this is select section this is the section this is bc bc means the width of the beam the depth of the beam all right all the things and this is okay so just go to this connect model and then check this button so what the software do is when you check or uncheck so you can verify from the graphic view that what where is the beam where is the beam you have just selected okay just click on the graphics so it will create the results in the graphic mode just print it okay just uh, let's say beam one so you can see that uh, this is the uh, report generated by the software itself this is not a, a detailed calculation report but just a summary with some graphics with some section diagrams okay it is showing that actually or at the mid section two two 12 mm dia bars at top and three 12 mm dia bars at bottom and for the ends there is two two for top and bottom both so this is, this is the summary for bending moment capacities and shear capacities all right so this is for the graphic mode okay we can check detailed calculation what the software uh, did by selecting it the member property means only just a section and member means uh, 
this section is being applied to which member so we can check these members okay so by checking this member button this detailed button is active now option for detail print position and maiden j these three to be checked for all these positions but as we can see that it is as only a simply supported beam so just uncheck the and i and n j and just click on the mid and click on details so for this option we can see all detailed calculations for the beam design the software just did behind its program okay so this is uh, you can uh, you can print it as well all right so this is up for today this was the design part for this beam in the next video we will check a very interesting feature of midas gen is is to check the beam with the given reinforcement uh, this is a very interesting feature of Midas Gen. We will see you in the next video. Take care.